It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,889, recorded Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. A Little Light Lantern. episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D has a retro lantern. He also has an alarm clock that'll make sure to wake you up. I have an inflatable summer gadget and your videos all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the gadget artiste, Dick D. Wow. Bartolo. How wow. you doing, Dickie D? I am doing good on uh, our first summer show. Ooh, it's officially summertime. It's officially summer. And that was also welcomed with, I forgot, that we have now already passed the day of the year with the most light. Oh, yes. So that it's was like... all downhill. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dark. It's a dark future it, from, from uh, now on. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't feel like the summer solstice... Uh, impacts me that much. I don't. I don't notice the difference. I feel like. Do you oh, feel like okay. you notice a big difference in well, the day? Well, I I don't like it when it Darkness. gets dark early. Yeah. Dennis does. So it was hooray for him, <laughs> and boo for me. <laughs> he likes it dark at four p.m. He's like, yes, me. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is time. Yeah. The day's over. Let's let's go home. Exactly, um, exactly. That's great. Okay, okay. Um, so. so, yeah, yeah. The, I, I do remember on the summer solstice, I was with a friend, and he was like, you know, it's the longest day of the year. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> Man, this day has just yeah, been Yeah, because I was thinking, why dragging. am I falling asleep while the sun is out? This Oof. day never ends. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. We're yeah. officially... Now, here in Texas... Oh, it's not yet? Oh, no, I'm just saying. It's hot. Oh, oh, my gosh. It is just, like, currently 99 degrees. Oh, um, no. Yeah. Wow. So, that's, you know, but it is... Uh, it is it, when you live in Texas, you kind of sign up uh, for that. You kind of know what you're you're getting into. So, yeah, no, it's no only 64 here. Oof. So we're getting, yeah, this storm's coming. And I think Becky said, yes, Becky said they're having weather alerts everywhere. And I believe the storms are coming here overnight. Yikes. Um, yeah, we won't see that uh, weather until Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. We're stuck in it now. Uh, oh, okay. It's official. Um, it's pretty humid. It's, it's not as bad as like Florida or something like that, but it's, oh, oh. it's enough to stick to you. Um, oh, it's not, okay. it's not incredibly dry like Arizona or something like that. Uh, so it is wow. a bit humid. We have Dave wow. C who's in Switzerland and in Sweden. Oh, wow. It's 1.30 AM in Sweden and it's not dark yet. Wow. wow. It won't get, and it won't get dark, only lighter. Wow. And the sun will rise at 4 a.m. or so. Yeah. I remember, I feel like every time we talk about uh, solstice and weather, I bring up this story. But I'll bring it up again. I was Why in not? Stockholm and uh, for a Minecraft event. And we went out on the town. We were partying it up. And I was like, gosh, this is literally the longest day ever. And I remember looking down, and it was... 10 p.m. and the sun was still up. I could, it was like the sun was setting and it was 10 p.m. And I was like, how on earth is the sun still <laughs> out there? And yeah, you get up there in the northern, you know, part of the world and uh, solstice really matters. I mean, it really, really matters. Wow. Um, 
And it was just, it was like, I could still see, like this bar is closing down and the sun is still out. <laughs> like, <laughs> explain that to me. Explain it to me. That um, is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we have a, a widespread audience. Uh, Pack and W says, I remember something similar when I worked at the South Pole. Wow. What? Oh my gosh. I would ask you how uh, how the elves are, but that's I guess the yeah. North I was just gonna pole. say yeah, <laughs> that's the wrong. If you kind of lucked, you know, I think they the... go. I think the elves go to the South Pole uh, during the off season. Right, uh, that's um, uh, no. they they c- c- warm up in the uh, in the off season uh, oh South my Pole. Gosh, um, oh gosh, yeah. You got the short in, short pole on that one, um, which <laughs> you can either be with Santa. Or you could just be on the South Pole. Yeah. You know, nothing really exciting about the that, South Pole. You know, that's what I was just wondering. Pack NW said you get 24 hours of sun and then 24 hours of darkness. So they do end up paying for it? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. And that's I why, like, moving there. the solstice is a bigger deal because it's like, oh, hooray, we got sun. It's amazing. And then, you know, the winter solstice is like, this darkness is almost over. We've <laughs> gone over the hill. The sun will start coming back. You know. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting stuff. Um, uh, no, yeah. I don't think I could take that. <laughs> like like night for eighteen hours, or however long that is. Yeah. I would. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. You'd have I'll to take... migrate and get to get away from it. <laughs> yeah. Finally, moving south uh, from away from the solstice. Uh, so yeah. Um, well, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. Yeah, jump into some stuff and there's something good for summer right with Gadget One. Always looking for more backyard lighting and I found this rechargeable lantern. It's kind of retro look to it. I like it. It's not solo. Solo is not working out too well in the backyard because there's not a lot of sunlight. This one is USB-C. I have a little cable here that I can just plug it in because it has a really... First of all, there's a boot, rubber boot over the charging port, and it's easy to see uh, how it's charging and when it's full. It's um, IPX4, which I think is protects the lantern from, I think, drooling. <laughs> if someone says that's a nice lantern and they drool on it. Um, no. Uh, IPX4 is splashes, okay? Splashing from any direction. So my guess is if it was some light rain, you wouldn't have to worry about it either. Um, but this is what's neat about it, okay? So the switch is on. We'll, we'll take it out in the yard. And then it's... Eh? 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 And then if you really need light, you turn it all the way up and two white LEDs kick in. So I like this a lot. Okay, I believe it's 230 lumens full up. And it got 4.6 out of 5 stars, but only from uh, 39 people. So it's 50 bucks, 30, uh, but there's a coupon that I used. Okay. So I paid 39.99. Full up, the bright, which just shows you it will last for eight hours, but on low, runtime is 130 hours. It's called Leak Go, uh, L-E-A-C-C-O. And it looks really great in the dock, which we'll do now. In the yard, I'm going to turn this on. Now, it's going to be much brighter in the camera than it is. It's a nice, soft, kind of yellowish light, but the camera is going to brighten it. But that is low, and then goes all the way up, and then the LEDs kick in for total brightness. You can hang it, carry it around. I like this a lot, especially at low when you're having dinner out, a perfect lantern. That's it. Good night. <laughs> you can really set the mood, I feel like. With yeah. The, with the lighting. Ooh la la. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool. I really like the design. 
I um, I do too. And and you know what? I I sent a link to it because look at they changed the coupon to twenty dollars. <laughs> twenty bucks off. That really makes you think. So it's twenty nine ninety nine now. How low can they go? Yeah, I, yeah, I. You know, it's funny how. What kind of a camera do you need that can show soft white as soft white? Because oh. phone cameras seem to brighten it where right. it almost looks. That th this picture looks more like what the actual light looks like. I think you need something that can um, lock its uh, aperture. You know, it can lock the oh, brightness oh, setting. Okay. So. Like before you turn it on, you you lock it in place, and then it'll be more uh, realistic to okay. to the surrounding area. It's got really good reviews, um, too. Oh yeah, it went up. Four people bought it since yesterday. Yeah. Well, with that <laughs> yeah. coupon, why wouldn't you? Yes, yes. And yeah, very uh, the company says it's stainless steel, and also it turns out that. This brand, right now, this brand is very inexpensive because I sent a link. There's a company with the exact same lantern in different colors. There it is. Right. And they want $44. $44. And you only get a 10% off, which is $4. So 40 bucks versus the 29 of the yeah. other one. Right. But if, if you're wedded to getting it in, in white or green... <laughs> right. I must but. have a matte black lantern. That is a, a necessity, not a want. Okay, um, well, if you want matte black, you can get it for under 30 bucks. Oh, yeah, no one's ever heard of uh, Lico. Someone's right. asking in the chat room. Crispy Bacon said, who ever heard of it? Uh, who ever no heard one. of 99% right. of the company? There has Amazon? to be a white label generator uh name yes. you know like oh we have this from the factory what's the new name today here <laughs> let's see what what else does Lico make um oh it looks like they're in the market of uh of lanterns this is oh and tents and accordions you know i love the brand name Lico accordion and that lights and <laughs> yeah no this is just yeah some someone someone's catch-all for exactly. stuff they're reselling um, exactly but yeah it's it's nice i, I like uh, both of those um it's very stylish oh, that, and mr yeah. dave said it would be double if it had a coleman label you're well, exactly absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right yes yes coleman and it would be triple if it had a yeti label yeah exactly exactly <laughs> But I like the fact that the dimming is is not you just it's like a like a, a volume dial. Right. So I like dialing the exact brightness you like. And uh, the thing is, I could not find the battery capacity anywhere. But the fact that you can get eight hours at full is great for emergencies because then you click all the way to full. A, a white LED top and bottom light up in addition to the 2700K soft light. So it becomes a really good lantern for emergencies. They, they hid the uh, battery size in non-searchable text. Oh, or, you uh, found it? Non, yes, oh, uh, no, non-searchable no. images. So here it is. <laughs> 5,000 milliamp hours. Oh, 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 that's so pretty can, good. Can't do control oh. F and find it, but there it is. Um, now, will this, this will not charge your devices. This is just. No, it will not. It will yeah. not. It's yeah, USB-C in only. Yeah. Yeah, with, with 5,000, it would have, how hard would it be for them to make it a two-way thing? But they right. didn't. Right. Um. But anyway, so that means you're going to get a fair amount of uh, runtime yeah. out of it if you do take it camping. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's great. Okay. And the, the price, the twenty nine dollar price, is really decent because the company said stainless steel, and the fact that there's a rubber boot over the charging port, I think you have no problem uh, in light rain. Not not a hurricane or a tornado, but. Uh, outside of that, it should be good. Yeah, that's great. 
Um, yeah. Very cool. Okay. Moving on to gadget number two. Ooh la la. You have trouble waking up in the morning? Yes. I looked on my website and it's been 12 years since we did since you've woken up? bed shaker <laughs> clock. Okay. Where it vibrates the bed. Yeah. Uh. Like that. Exactly. Exactly. So I found this one which has a lot of nice features and a bizarre name. The Miss Cool, I guess it's M-E-S-Q-O-O. Those are O's. Miss Cool. I don't know, whatever it is. That's it. Um, okay, so first off is the display. Is There's a little dimmer in the back, so you can set the display for whatever you want. A lot of clocks just have bright and dim. This is zero to a hundred. You can actually Ooh. shut the display off. When yeah, you this is sleep. good. <laughs> and it's a like solid black you face. Want it's a little great. bit of night light on the top of the clock. There is a choice of seven colors. Okay, you can zoom through them, and they will stay that color all night long. I sort of like the violet, or you can just have it off. Setting the clock is very easy. This button here is hour. And this big button here is minute. And now I'm going to hit set time. Okay. So we're going to pretend it's 10 p.m. We're in p.m. And 9, 10. Okay. Now we're going to do minutes. And we're going to do. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So now the time is 10 p.m. It'll take five seconds. And then it will. <laughs> theoretically stop. Oh, it did. Okay. So it's now it's set for 10 p.m. What's interesting is the alarm. Okay. You put two AA batteries in it and that will keep the time in memory if there's a power failure. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out in the back. That's the power cord and I'm going to plug it in again. And it says 10 p.m. Nice. But something this clock does that uh, I've never seen before is if the power goes out, the alarm will still ring. Oh. Okay, they'll be, the display Isn't will be neat? blank. Yeah. But it will ring the alarm. It, if the bed uh, device is plugged in, it will not uh, let the bed vibrator work but it will ring the alarm. I think that's uh, uh, very neat. And now if you've never <laughs> if you've never seen one of these bed shakers, uh, let's go in and set the alarm. Have the alarm set for 10.03, and we have to put the alarm to on, and we're going to plug in the bed shaker. What is this the alarm is for? Okay, so it's going to be two minutes before it goes off. This is the bed shaker has a nice long cord on it. It's almost six feet long. So this can go under your mattress. If you have a really thick mattress, under the pillow is really better, I think. Uh, so you undo the cord, put it where you want it, and then there's a outlet in the back, and that's where the bed shaker goes. Let me see, the clock is set for, uh, we're at, we have one minute to the alarm. <laughs> Two USB charging ports back here. Okay. Uh, they're one amp, so they're not fast, but it can certainly uh, most likely charge your phone overnight. And now we're just going to wait till 10.03, and you'll hear the alarm go off. Let me see if there are any other features that I missed. We have the dimmer. We have buzzing. Oh, you can set alarm only, alarm soft, medium, loud. Alarm, soft, medium, and loud with the bed shaker. Okay, so you have the choice of doing that. And I think I have covered. <laughs> All right. This will be uh, under, your, under your mattress. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. The price, I thought it was pretty reasonable. Uh, $24. It has 3,500 reviews, and I already looked. It got 4.3 stars out of five. Uh, so I think that's pretty good. The extra loud 
bed vibrating alarm clock with charging ports. Oh, I go to bed. I, that'll be very effective for me because I do sleep on a wooden table. So that sound that <laughs> uh, that vibrator makes. You do sleep on a oh, table? Oh, yeah. Just, no, I don't. No, okay, I was going to say, because you're a little weird at times. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I can't get up in the morning. I, you it's know, it takes a while possible. to fall asleep on that wooden. I, I went in and I said, I need the hardest mattress you have. And he yeah, said, well, let it. me take you to this table. Um, <laughs> yeah, that seems like they designed a very good alarm. Yeah. And if you don't need, oh, it went up. Yeah, yeah. Twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, it went up two bucks since I bought it. Also, if you don't need the bed shaker, this is, must be one of those white box things because I, right. I sent you another another link, and it's a different company, and they want just twenty dollars for the clock with fifteen uh, percent off. It's the same clock. It's the same picture. Where's the? Is there <laughs> a? Uh, is that the port next to the USB? Yes. Uh, that- yeah, it's the same clock. As a matter of fact, is that where it, the shaker it, goes? <laughs> over, yes, over, yes. Right there? But there's a second option in the, the nineteen dollar ad. Go down a little. Oh yeah. Uh, and it says oh. if you want the bed shaker, oh. it's twenty seven dollars. Ah. Oh. And how much was our other one over? And now they've matched the, price. Now the prices are the same. Yeah. So. Uh, miss. And also, when if you ask for the bed shaker. The fifteen percent off disappears. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> so if you don't need the bed shaker, <sighs> the clock is like seventeen dollars and something. Yeah, that seems a very well designed. I like the set time where you can easily change the hours and minutes. That's just awesome. That's great. That's and great. then and the fact that after it, you just wait five seconds and they freeze. Yeah. I hate it when you have to set something. And then remember to go back and hit mode. Right. So that they stay. Right. And then also the feature of the LED, uh, uh, the LEDs dimming all the way down. Down to zero. That is awesome. And also the alarm clock going off. I think that's ingenious. If there's no power at all during the night and you wake up, you'll wake up. Yeah. To the alarm ringing. Don't let your boss see this episode because you may still want to use that as an excuse. The power went out and my alarm didn't go off and that's why I'm late for work. Don't wait, let wait, your do boss that know that you own cool this. alarm because I saw that on the Gizwiz <laughs> and your alarm didn't you get that? did go off. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. I know what alarm clock you have. It goes off even when there's no power. You're lying. It does do day, Ranger Rick says does it do daylight saving times? It does. That's great. So yeah, that seems like a great buy. Great buy. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite features of the Google Home, I think it's called the Hub, the Google Home Hub, is that it will dim its backlight to like the most minimum I've ever seen of any backlight ever and it's perfect for uh nighttime um and and so being able to control the backlight is a feature that like i would i would need uh i've gotten just so used to it uh with the um you know google screen being able to do that yeah Um, i think i had the same screen is it like the 50 dollar one uh, no, it's the, gosh, what is it? Uh, they have so many products. Google, I know they do. Um, home Hub. I'm pretty sure that it's the, the Hub. Not the Hub Max. It's just the Hub. Um, here's the Nest Hub second generation. Da, 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 da. This is it, I think. Um, oh, and, that's nice. And this will dim so dark. I mean, it is yeah. like, and you could you couldn't see it if it wasn't, uh, you know. Completely oh, you know, dark is it ninety nine dollars? I think it is, and I th- but I think that this is one that you can get a lot cheaper, not at the Google. Well, store. you know, only only because I think I paid fifty dollars. I think it was a Black Friday deal. Yeah, yeah, they've gone on sale a few times. Yeah, and and they have like a larger a version. Um, that's that's much larger. 
Uh, I don't own one yet, but this is the the bigger one. It's kind of hard to tell how much bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based on the photos, but it is it is much larger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's they really focused on sound with this one. Um, oh, with a three inch woofer. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if there's a good like comparison. Nest Smart Hub Display Assistant Charcoal. Um, doesn't look like it. Like this isn't available anymore. So yeah. Oh, so, okay. um, But that feature has made me really appreciate just turn the brightness way down. I mean, it's yeah. like. And when, when you said it, I realized that I have the same thing because I go in and go, did this thing stop working? Right, right. Uh, if no, you saw oh, it oh, when oh, the lights oh, are oh, on, it's on. Yeah. It's on. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. And it has That's its own, great. you know, light sensor in there. So when the lights come on, it'll go to full bright. But when the lights go off, it'll turn so dim that if the lights were on, you wouldn't be able to tell that the screen was on. And uh, that has just been such a nice feature. Yeah, um, and it keeps yeah. track of your sleep. Uh, this one, I don't think it does. This one doesn't. Um, really? Okay, because yeah. I got up one day and I was looking at the app and it said you slept this and that. And I read about it and it said it does it without having a camera. So I have no idea hmm. how I that could audio? possibly. Huh. How, I, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Sleep tracking? Does it? Can it? Sleep monitor? Sleep analysis? I'm I'm trying. If it can, I'm going to be real upset that I could have had this <laughs> forever. Uh, well, a great day starts with great sleep. Oh my gosh. Does it? Sleep detail. I'm literally seeing this on the website. This is what we were just looking at. Yeah. What? Yes. No way. It effortlessly tr tracks your sleep. I think if you go in your app, it, it'll it'll say. No. Because way. one day I, it said you slept this much. Yeah, it breaks it up with a thing, and this was restful, and this was not restful, and this was a dirty dream, and huh. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and it, it, I think it has some. I know that it has some type of motion sensor. I would guess because it does yeah. this thing when you walk up to it, it'll like wake up. Um, you know, I won't be in the room and I'll walk right. over to it and it'll be like, oh, hello. Um, so it has some Something. type of yeah. sensor in there. How did I not know about this? Oh, my well, God. I, I don't think I have until, turned it on I was at in all. the Google app and I'm thinking, well, oh, I don't have any sleep app. And <laughs> then I realized that in the description it said, tracks your sleep without using a camera. I'm going to be so mad if this was just a setting I needed to turn on because I love data. You know, oh, I, I wish okay. that I had had this data right. for a long time. I don't even know where to go to find this. <laughs> Settings. They're better. I, well, shame on Google for not, I'm going to blame them for, for me yes, not knowing about I, this. Shame on them for not them. serving this to me uh, uh, better. Yeah. This should be some sort of a podcast that tells people about <laughs> these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Master bedroom display. Unable to access device data. I'm going to have to do some more research on this and figure out where, huh. Maybe I have the first gen. Maybe I don't have the second gen. Oh, that could be. Um, that might be. So, yeah. That so, might. Empty Pocket says, won't your watch wake you up? And and uh, the Apple Watch does have a lot of those features, sleep tracking, all that stuff. But uh, I can never uh, get myself to charge it any time other than when I'm sleeping. Um, so, oh, other so people will... Your wrist. Yeah, they'll charge it when they wake up in the shower and... That just does not fit with my schedule. So I just take it off every night and charge it. Um, so it doesn't help there. Um, okay. Okay. Very cool. All right. So my next gadget I bought because of something you showed two weeks ago. Yeah. You had a little video. Remember that thing you had on your shoulder? Yeah. This is it here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the squirt uh, gun uh, that inspired you? Yeah, well, the whole thing. Uh huh. So I saw this and I started to, well, watch the video and you'll see how this, this what you're holding, led okay. to what I bought. Okay, okay. So let's yeah. uh, check it out. 
When I saw Chad wearing the like water canteen and the little water pistol, and I jokingly said you could water plants with that, I thought, you know, wait a minute. I wonder if someone makes a bigger version of that. Not particularly a toy. I don't need the little poppet things. But someone does. Ta da! Oh. <laughs> okay. Chapin 2000. All right. So I did not know this sort of thing existed. So it is for, according to the, let me see what it says here. Um, you can use it with liquid fertilizers, weed killers, pesticides. Sometimes I spray the plants with some stuff that is plant safe but keeps mosquitoes away. And it's a real drag to hook up the hose here because it hooks to the kitchen sink. And I thought, well, let's try one of these. I bought the one gallon size. It comes in one, two, and three gallons. And I bought the one gallon because without the cap, which you have to take off to fill it, mm -mm -mm, it fits under my uh, under the faucet in the kitchen, okay? So all you do is you unscrew it, fill it with water, and then put you screw this down. The cap, it's a two-way cap, okay? The cap is the way to carry it. And also, let me just lock the cap so I can tighten it. Now once the cap is very tight, now you pump you have to build the pressure, okay? Uh, I don't know if I have enough, uh, uh, too much water in there. I didn't need, read, I didn't carefully read any <laughs> I haven't done this, so I don't know how much pressure to, <laughs> watch the thing explode. Uh, let me just see. Uh, oh, okay, lock it. Let me just see. If bottle explodes, you have put on too much pressure. Oh, it says it right on it. No, it doesn't. Okay, um, so it's good about it. You can see how much is in the water bottle because it's translucent, made in the USA. Oh, anti-clog filter. Let me tell you about the anti-clog filter. So the end of this hose has a piece of a plastic hose that goes in to pick the water up. I could not get that into the hole. And then I thought, what is this cap? Maybe if I take this cap off. I took the cap off. It went right in. So I don't know if they got extra plastic in there where you put the fill tube in or the suck out tube. But if you have that problem, slide the filter off, stick the hose in, and then reach in and put the filter back on. Uh, okay, so I guess we're ready. <laughs> Uh, what are we going to, oh, we're going to water these plants, not too much water, because most, oh, look at, oh, I like this. <laughs> Kids would love that, I too. I like this already. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what, I do like this. I could do some little bit of cleaning <laughs> without Power hooking walking. up the hose. Well, let's go to the village. Let's go to the village <laughs> and clean a house or two. Um, uh, uh, uh. Wash the wind. Oh, this is great. Washing the windows. Uh, it's something I try to do with the hose. I, the I blew those buildings all <laughs> over the place. You take out the whole city. Yeah. This is pretty neat. Uh, all right, I'm going to go back into the light. So the end of this is adjustable. Okay. You can evidently turn this. I guess that's, I think there's a way for, oh, you know, we can leave it on and turn it. I don't seem to be getting, oh, there you go, there you go. Okay, you can get, you can do spray, and you can turn the spray into a straight thing. All right, so it seems like we're running out of pressure, so I guess you have to repressurize it. But it's pretty neat. Uh, really inexpensive. I think it was, it was under $16. And review-wise, I found two of them for $27.05 that had 52,000 
500 reviews and it got four and a half stars. Oh, you know, I'm just going to say, I guess you can just, uh, oh yeah, I guess just add more pressure. I don't know if it gets to the point where you can't. Mm -hmm. You dirty rat. <laughs> turn it anymore and i, I assume also, the bottle uh, is the bottle will never break it's a right. two gallon size and a three gallon size but i didn't realize i thought water weighed six pounds a gallon uh i went online and it says water weighs 8.3 pounds a gallon so if you get the three gallon size it's 25 pounds uh just with water the unit itself doesn't weigh much it's just it's it's just plastic but if, if it wasn't that this is my camera, I would spray you, the audience. <laughs> but I do like this. Dennis thanks you. <laughs> um, so I have one of these. Um, you do? I do, I do. And how I use it is you can mix um, uh, stuff for your garden into it. So they'll make concentrate of like... Uh, weed killer or uh, just a general oh. uh, herbicide or, um, you know, the bug uh, repellent, that sort of stuff. Um, and oh, so you okay. can pour that in there and then add your water, and then it's a great way to apply it around the yard. You, yeah, you pump it up, you hold it around, you spray it around, um, and it, you can get a very large area, um, and especially if you're trying to... Um, kill specific weeds, you kind of want to get down close to them. Yeah, so that, yeah, yeah. That nozzle you have a big, will help you. You have a great big one, or you have a little one? Um, like... I think it's, I'm guessing that it would be about three gallons. Is I Oh, I okay. Oh, it might be the same company. I, yeah, I could be. Um, uh, well, yeah, I, could be. I never knew about it, but then when I saw 52,000 reviews, I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been doing this uh, yeah. for a while. Um, but yeah, definitely. Not a lot of people in Brooklyn have them. Right. Yeah, 16, 16 bucks. And I've seen backpack versions uh, that like professionals uh, use, and the handle to pump it is over here on the side. And so you get a lot of leverage, and you're going to pump oh, it up while, oh, you're, wow. yeah. while you're spraying. Um, so I've seen those as well. And in fact, this one kind of looks like it might go on your back uh, there. Oh, no, that, that's the handle mm. on the top. Um, yeah, but yeah, Boy, these are there's a definitely ton, a ton of them. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of with the handle on the side. Look at that. See that? Oh yeah, right there. That that. Oh, the same company makes that. Yeah, Chumley said he built up a lot of pressure and it just blew the wand off. Oh, so funny. a lot of people asking about the locomotive. <laughs> that train is actually, I don't use it as that. The train is a tea kettle. <laughs> okay, that red train that was sitting on the bench was originally a tea kettle, and I lost a little end on it, um, and I thought, well, that's all right. I'll put it in the backyard as a decoration. Yeah, <laughs> just add it to the train collection. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, these these sprayers are fantastic, and yeah, there's a ton of of variety. Uh, when it comes, yeah. when it comes and to the fact they don't have to hook up a hose for me, it's just yeah. great. Oh yeah. Huge, and huge. You don't want to take over your kitchen sink. Uh, no, <laughs> so. no. And then I have to run the hose through the living room. Right. And <laughs> right. It's just, yeah. Right. It's That's perfect. Great. Perfect. That's perfect. Um, okay. Okay. Wow. Well, that brings us to you know, one you of our favorite it, parts of the but show. You might want it at Chad's. Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We got our gadget right here. Comes in a whole bag. Ooh. Take it with you wherever you got to go. I recorded a video about it. So All let's right. Check it out. Hey, Diggity. So we are out here with another summer gadget. And this gadget requires an awful lot of space. Here it is. It's Nevler's. Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, Neville Longbottom. But the idea of this gadget is it is a portable uh, place to sit. And it has a really kind of fun way to inflate it and get it ready. So it does come with this uh, carrying bag, which is quite nice. It has one strap uh, to throw it over your shoulder. Oh, looks like I have a stake. I have uh, the device. 
and uh, there's this big clip here. So this will all inflate with air and then you can wow. use it uh, once it's inflated with air uh, just as like a portable couch. So uh, I haven't read the, they're, the only instructions are on the side of the bag. So you unpack it, you open the bag, you run around like crazy scooping air into <laughs> the bag, you close it up, roll it until it gets really tight, and then- Oh, and uh, you have you a canoe. I'm not even sure where the steak that <laughs> comes in it uh, comes into play. It came with a plastic steak, but um, so, very tough. Oh, oh wait, there's gosh. like a secondary, oh, there's like two oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things to do that. Okay, there we go. Open it up. There's two chambers, I guess uh, the left and the right side uh, chambers here. So we're gonna inflate it. The idea is you go for a running start and then you close the bag <laughs> when you're done. So here we go. What? Oh. Okay, I've closed it up. And then I'm going to roll it a few times to really get the rest of this as tight oh as possible. Oh my gosh. There we go. I think we're at our limit here. Oh my God, and it then works. I can clip these together. <laughs> and there we go. Now I have a place to sit. <laughs> uh, watch out for the plastic steak that comes with it. Make sure you don't poke it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's kind of comfortable. I give it like <laughs> a uh, a six out of ten, and how comfortable this is. I feel like it's still not very inflated. Um, now it does come with some pockets. So if you wanted to store a phone or a few things in there, or the other side doesn't have anything. It really, really does require a laying position. I don't feel like I can uh, really sit in this like a chair. Ugh. I can't tell if it's deflating. It feels like it's not quite as full as it used to be when I first started out. Well, there you have it. The Nevelers inflatable seating arrangement. I guess that's where the steak goes down there. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> So I've seen this oh, a the lot. the steak is to hold it in case the wind comes? Exactly, exactly. And I've seen these oh, used okay. a lot on beaches uh, to get oh, out of the okay. sand. Uh, and, you know, so I've seen that an awful lot. So I could see on a beach, you're constantly dealing with the wind. So you got to stake it down. Uh, here it is, $24. Oh, okay. Um, so about the same price as like a foldable chair, you know, one of those yeah. uh, camping chairs. And it could have it's been a that. little noisy. Oh, I guess that's <laughs> only is. because of the mic, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, yeah. It is a little bit noisy for sure. Um, and I, I could also see that mine seemed a little bit more deflated because I sat on it for the first time and maybe stretched it out. Um, but uh, lots of people uh, using it. And it does pack down, you know, quite a lot for yeah. how large it eventually gets. Um which is kind of nice. So uh, this is, I think, a pretty unique gadget. You're not going to yeah. be like everybody else with with normal seating. You're going to have <laughs> weird tubular seating um, whenever you hang out with your friends. So there it is. And there's a lot of these on Amazon. You can find a ton of different brands. Um, this is one of the less expensive ones, but... I mean, just look through whatever option you want. Um, this one actually was, I think, the least expensive at 25. So you can see lots of other options. Um, some of them come with two, so it was 50, but it looks like you get a pack I, of two. I guess you couldn't put it in a pool, right? You know, it kind of seems like maybe because you could. Because it almost looks like a canoe. Yeah, I wouldn't see a problem. They may not want to brand it that way, 
Yeah. Um, no, I don't see any pictures of it. That's why I yeah. thought maybe not. Yeah, I don't see any pool pictures. Yeah. Um, That's pretty neat. There. But there you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ranger Rick says, good for, the do- good for the dogs and cats. Definitely, you poke a hole in it. It's, you know, no good anymore. So... Make no, sure that's true. <laughs> don't have any uh, claws uh, near it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I did realize my AirPods fell in my pocket in the video. Thanks, empty pockets. It's uh, <laughs> ironic uh, that something fell in my pocket. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is the Nevlers inflatable lounger. Uh, if uh, you want to get that yourself. Now let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Our video is from our most loyal and frequent contributor, Mo. Woohoo! And Mo has a new gadget he likes. And Ooh. here it is. Hey guys, love the show. I have another gadget I want to show you and the chat room. And anyone with a car, I think, will like this gadget. I don't know if it'll work on a boat. Uh, do boats have rear view mirrors? <laughs> Okay, so I don't think boats have rear view mirrors, but they could correct this if we're wrong. But they must have some kind of pole or a bar or something, and you'll see what I mean, because you'll be able to use that to mount what I'm going to show you. Before I got this device, well, actually, the first device I ever got to mount my phone in my car was a vent mount. The problem with the vent mount is that in the winter, I would put the heat on and the phone would overheat. Oh. In the summer, you would block the air conditioning. So that was it you know, two issues we had. So I moved it from the vent and I put it up here. The problem here is, is that I used to put the 3M stick on pads themselves, as you can see them here and this one here. But after a couple of summers, they would peel off. The heat would literally melt loose the gluing. It would just de so I literally screwed it in to my car. Please don't do that. That's just me. So that it definitely stays <laughs> stable. But I was looking to get something that I can use when I rent the car or I use someone else's car. And here is the gadget. This is the rear view phone mount pretty easy to put oh. on I have the clamp here show us how to put it on honey you look at the back of the rear view mirror on the f- on, in your car you pick a spot you screw it tightly this is the mount without the phone let me put the phone on clamps right there pretty stable so this is the phone mounted onto the rear view mirror pretty cool you can do 360 degrees with no issues whatsoever spin it all around you could also do it landscape and portrait mode with no issues whatsoever I drove with it it Bounces a little bit, but not bad at all. It held, no issues whatsoever. Love the mount. It literally articulates forward and back by pressing these little silver buttons on the other side. You press it and you can bring it up and down. Both of these, you can press the button and bring it back or forward towards you. You can use the top mount onto any any, you know, circular metal or even wood or clamp it onto a table and mount your phone. And the phone mounts a little closer than it used to, but my wife likes it that way and I don't find it an issue at all. I was very hesitant to purchase this item because the last item that I purchased, uh, the phone mount that goes in the rear view mirror, actually went on the rear view mirror. It didn't block the mirror. It kind of mounted behind the mirror. The problem was that the mirror, it's supposed to move around easily for you to adjust it uh, when you're getting ready to drive. But when you would drive with, with the mount mount into the, mount it to the rear view mirror, it would bounce around like crazy and it, I actually had my phone fall off the mount because of the amount of shaking. So I think this will stand up to the test of time and I should have no issues. So I just wanted to share this uh, gadget with you guys. I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Bye. I like that a lot because most phone mounts I've seen are like (laughs) destructive in some way to your car. Like, so this is a non-destructive phone mount uh, that seems sturdy. Almost all of them require you to stick something Something, somewhere. The the best I've seen of the non-destructive ones are like the ones that fit into the CD holder and you can kind of tighten a screw. But um, this seems great. 
Yeah. And it's pr- it's relatively inexpensive. It is 18 bucks. Do you get two? Two. Yes. I emailed Mo and I said, Andy. Mo, it says two two pieces. And he yeah. said, Yeah, you get a green one and a black one. And oh, you and save now three bucks. This- <laughs> so wow. So you can get $15 two. for two. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And I could see that definitely being great for travel if you're in a rental car or whatever and you can't, you're not going to put down some 3M stick <laughs> in a <No>. rental car. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's great. I'm just thinking it could probably go, could it go on a suitcase? I'm just thinking oh, about yeah, the uses I'm sure. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a uh, the back of a tray table. <laughs> I mean, you can get oh, creative maybe. with where to clamp that. Yeah, thing. you could. You could. A toddler's arm. You know, if uh, <laughs> you got a toddler in front of you, you, just say, "Hey, stick your arm right here." I'm yeah. gonna clamp my phone to you. So well, I can on watch. a boat, you can put it on the boat railing. Yeah, there you go. So. Um, yeah, that's great. I love that. That's uh, that's perfect. Awesome. Uh, Scooter X so said, cell phone cannot be mounted anywhere that impairs the driver's view of the road. Huh. This... So I guess it needs to be mounted in like a cup holder area yeah, or something. I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, Mo, thank you very much. Yeah. And we can go on to <gasps> the letter. The letter. Actually, I think our letter writer is in the chat room. Miss Dron, aka Fuel Boat, Ooh. who says, "I saw this Facebook post and I liked the technology it uses." And he sent a link, a link to this device that has two technologies. It uses the very latest technology, a combination. <laughs> Of solar and uh, wind power. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a cartoon <laughs> from Chris Madden. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a, if for our audio listeners, it's a uh, wash line. And then the text bubble is, it dries the washing using very latest technology. A combination of solar and wind power. Yeah, and the, the laundry's in the breeze. Uh, in the breeze. And it's a sunny day. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I didn't realize my mother was such a technology uh, whiz because <laughs> she used both those technologies when I was a kid. It sometimes feels like, you know, we're always reinventing the wheel. Uh, yeah. Let's capture the sun in electrons, <laughs> put it in a battery, run it through wires to a machine that will blow hot air onto, it simulates the sun, is what it's doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, Ron, funny. thank you. That was great. That was great. <laughs> um, uh, okay, we should mention oh. that, um, I think we have one video left. Okay, so if you want to make a video like Mo did, Anything to do with a gadget, a gadget you bought like Mo did, a gadget you had years ago and can't throw it out because you paid a ton of money and it's obsolete now. Those we love the most. It's so great to see old gadgets that cost a ton of money, but anything to do with a gadget, okay? Just use your phone, uh, horizontal format when you shoot it. You can be in it if you want or like with Mo. We didn't see Mo this time. Um, anything, one to three minutes. Just make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. And put it up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu when you upload. You can click unlisted. And that way only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send us that URL. It goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. And you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you by me. And if you live outside of the U.S., and so far I've been able to send magazines to Canada. Uh, I think, I'm not sure any of them came back. Uh, but if you live outside of the U.S. or Canada, 
no matter where you live, I will sign a 40 year old. Now they're 40 year old Alfred E. Newman pictures autograph to you. And I will send you a high res image that you can print out even in Sweden, anywhere in the world <laughs> and the Sweden in the sunlight. You can uh, even print it out. In Sweden in the summer solstice. You can. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so get a, get a video, Come on. especially as you've never sent one, <clears throat> it would be great. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Just one to three minutes. That's it. Do it. Uh, and with that, I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show every single episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like what you're listening or watching too, uh, then please head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, you support every time we publish an episode. Uh, is That's how much you support, and we appreciate it a lot. If you don't want to give via Patreon, you can give via PayPal at our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and then uh, there's a link there to PayPal. However you give, thank you so much for supporting the show. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be there on the website at the top of the website. So uh, just check that out if you're uh, wanting to catch the show. Join the chat room, chat along, and if you uh, missed the show live, we got links back to YouTube, we're on uh, Apple Podcasts, or just our website, hosts the files, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about. So if you're wanting to know more about any of the gadgets, gizwiz.biz is the place to head. Uh, I love the search feature on this website, so just search for the name of the gadget and you'll find out everything you need to know. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? We're coming to the end of this gadget, so you gotta get over there and get a guess, and soon, this is the entire gadget. You don't know the name, but you gotta guess the name. What does this gadget do? Uh, and uh, this is a, a pretty obvious to me. This is a way of harnessing the best power source known to man, the <laughs> energy of cats. It is a cat running a wheel. Uh, I'm sorry to give it away, uh, but uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guess over at gizwiz.biz6 mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. We're back to Thursday next week, so we'll see you then. I'll be here. <laughs>